Fantastic. Olive, if you're watching, you are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Coming up, remembering the Battle of the Atlantic, and in cricket, Hampshire are fighting a bit of a losing battle so far against Surrey. Plus, on the hottest day of the year, how was it for you? Heaven or hell? And I'm with the man who built a jet fighter in his garden shed and has now got to get it out. still on a military theme, he rescued it from a scrapyard and has spent the last 10 years restoring it. But today, Peter Burton from New Milton in Hampshire faced his toughest challenge, removing the cockpit, cockpit section of a fighter jet from his garden shed. Richard Jones takes up the story. At the bottom of Peter Burton's garden, the shed roof has been removed and revealed for the first time is the cockpit of the Buccaneer jet he's restored. It's been a labour of love. Well, it's either this or climb Everest. So... Uh, <laughs> this was easier. I think... No, I think Everest would be easier, actually. I always wanted a, a jet of my own. And obviously I couldn't have that, I haven't got the space or the money. What yeah. have the last ten years been like, though? Well, it's been different. I mean, as I said, I, at least I know where, where he is, the end of the garden. But, um, no, it's been great. It's been a lovely um, project. Today was the culmination of a decade's effort the nerve-wracking job of getting the jet out of the garden shed, which was built around it. Peter has donated the plane to the Jet Heritage Museum at Bournemouth Airport. Well, it's been such and go, but after 10 years in one place, it looks as if this plane is on its way to its new home. Many of Peter's friends and neighbours didn't know he had a jet in his shed. Those that did say he'll miss it. It's been quite important to him for quite a few years. Yeah. What's he going to do now? He's going to be quite sad, I think, that it's, that it's going. He's an enthusiast. Do you think he's an eccentric yeah. as well? No, I don't think so. I think he's just a pure enthusiast. He loves aeroplanes. You'd be surprised at the number of people who, who are aviation enthusiasts. Some people play football, some people mess around with aeroplanes. It's as simple as that. Peter escorted the jet on its journey to the museum. He'll now be wondering what he's going to do with his time and all the space in his shed now that he hasn't got a buccaneer at the bottom of his garden. Richard Jones in New Milton for Meridian tonight. It makes my garden shed look quite boring. It's the sport now, the one and only. This is BBC One in the South. And now South Today with Sally Taylor and Harry Gratian. Unpasteurised milk investigated after the E. coli outbreak. Southwest Trains braces for strike action as the guards' dispute escalates. Lift off 10 years of loving restoration on the cockpit of a jet. And cycling over to the Isle of Wight, but will he get a puncture? A bit worried one of them might go down. <laughs> A man who spent the last decade restoring the cockpit of a jet fighter in a shed at the bottom of his garden today finally saw it taken away to be safely preserved in a new museum. Peter Burton bought the cockpit for scrap value and has devoted himself all these years to getting it back into its original state. Chris Conibeer has this report. It's only an ordinary shed, but for ten years it's been home to an extraordinary hobby the painstaking restoration of a buccaneer fighter. The, one went here, there's a rib the man here. who saved it from the scrap heap supervised this morning's delicate operation to move it. What we've done since that lift, we've put the seat in, but then again, that should be counterbalanced by that lump well, of metal side, no, nearly. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. probably the heaviest thing in there, and that is almost... Yeah, there's a lot of work gone into it, so... If something had gone wrong, it would have been 10 years' work uh, ruined, but uh, it seems to be OK now. So, And there's a lot more room at the other end at Jet Heritage, so there shouldn't be any problems. What's it been like having this at the bottom of your garden for the last eight years? Oh, it's been um, different. Uh, at least I know where Peter is, the back, of the, you know, back of the garden, but no, it's been um, great. It's been a lovely project. The jet was being taken to the new Jet Heritage Museum at Bournemouth where it will soon be on show with other splendid models. Well, I've always been very interested in military aircraft, and fast jet aircraft in particular. I would love to have had a complete jet, as you see in the hangar here, but uh, obviously space and money 
preclude that, so um, the next best thing was to get a, a cockpit. The last time I sat in one of those cockpits, I actually flew, the, uh, flew an aeroplane, a, a buccaneer, and, and when I sat in that one, it was real deja vu. Many of the planes here do fly, among them a Hunter, restored and flown by enthusiasts at the museum. It will be on show with the others when the museum opens this Sunday. Chris Conybeer for BBC South Today at Bournemouth Airport. That's wonderful for Peter Burton. That's Very real so. dedication, real persistence. Total. Now let's move on to Southern Ways. And if you were watching last night, you'll know that I took...